Money Vikings Collectibles here. Hope everyone's having a great evening, day, whatever it is. I wanted to share a couple of thoughts as I process this Double Masters draft booster box that I've now uh, completely opened. It uh, So first of all, this insert thing, I wanted to point out something that I didn't notice until later, and this is what's so cool about the artwork in Magic, is that there's the reflection of the dragon on this slimy, gelatinous creature. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, let me take that back. Is the dragon inside of this gelatinous creature? That's what it, I thought it was a reflection, but actually I'm wrong. This gelatinous mass creature is basically engulfing um, all of the creatures. Now I understand there's a dragon inside. There's whatever that guy is. Um, there's this guy. Anyway, these are just d details that... Uh, I catch on to later. So, a couple of thoughts. Uh, I had a, I would say I had a moderately good box, uh, or I'd, I'd call it a good. I'd call it a good box. Uh, it wasn't amazing, but it was good and it was solid. I feel like I got my money's worth. Um, a few I'll point out. I did get a mana drain, which is about a, I think about a thirty-five to forty-five dollar card. So that was a pretty cool mythic pull on that one. I've always wanted this uh, Nicol Bolas, God Pharaoh. I don't think this is a very expensive card, actually. Um, I don't know. This might be a $5 card, but it's a cool card, and I really like it. So uh, I've got that now, but that's also a Mythic. I got this Mythic, Emil the Blessed, the, uh, the Unicorn. So again, pretty cool to have a, a Mythic. And I got this Animar Soul of Elements Mythic. Again, I think it's maybe a... Four or five dollar cards, so not much in terms of, of monetary value, but uh, pretty cool to get the mythics. But the mana drain uh, does have have some pretty high value. Um, this damnation card, pretty high value. I think this uh, is a non foil version. I wish it was the foil. I wish it was the etched, of course. Um, but I think this one would fetch twenty bucks. So uh, it all adds up. So that was a pretty good pool. Um, the old Emrakul, the Eons Torn uh, Eldrazi card is, is a pretty cool mythic pool. Um, I think this is about a $15 to $20 card. Uh, so that was pretty good. I did get a Phyrexian Altar artifact, rare card, which um, I think this might be the most valuable pool I had. Is a, I think it's a $30 to $60. This might go for $30 to $60. Bucks. Um, I think prices are pretty steep like steady at the moment it's not really going up too much um but anyway there's another one there another valuable card i think there's a 20 to 40 dollar card is a bitter blossom just amazing artwork uh but that was another mythic pool so that was pretty cool um quite a few you know i got this huge stack of rares so quite a few rares here as you can see got this nice Nice solid stack of rares. Uh, very, very big stack of uh, of the uncommons. Um, and there were a few common pools that I, that I actually really liked. I uh, loved the Cat Wizard. I thought that was great. Rampant Growth common card. Monastery Swift Spear common card. I uh, got one of these guys. This Coiling Oracle Common Snake Elf Druid, which I think is just amazing. Um, so that was pretty good. But, you know, all in all, um, let's see. Let's look at the numbers here. 60. You know, just in this right here, I mean, just some of the top cards are probably about $160 in value. Uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't even account for any of the uncommons. It's probably worth... A good amount and that does not account for most of the rares so you know did i get my monetary value yeah i think so uh, again I, i'd call this box good so uh, i'm not disappointed at this point and uh we'll 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 do more from there but uh anyway i'm getting getting to know this I'm really happy to add some of these to the collection maybe trade a few maybe sell a few we shall see Anyway, thanks for listening, folks, and talk with y'all later.